What's up, YouTube? We here with another video. And we're back with a mukbang. Um, we about to we're actually, unconventional mukbang. Can you let me finish? My bad, brother. We are at White Castle right now. Right. In the parking lot, about to eat some White Castle burgers. This is our first time before. eating White Castle. Like the restaurant White, White Castle. So. Mm -hmm. We used to get it from like the freezers in Walmart. Yeah, obviously the freezers. So. Ah, this is up cousin. Ah, oh, ah. But yeah, so, so. we got some. We got 20 sliders, a regular slider, just a little bit too much. We got some mozzarella sticks. Yep. And we got frizz eyes. Yep. So, so we're just, we just going to be doing a muck bomb and answering, answering you questions. guys questions that you guys, you know. Ooh, look at that. Oh, they all in like little. Yeah, little they all in little thingies. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to be eating and answering, answering questions, baby. We're going to go ahead and eat right now. So, let's do a prayer. Okay. Amen. Amen. So, let's get into it. So we're gonna try our first freaking burger from the real place, the real dilly dill. The real deal. Because see how they taste. They might taste like the freezer ones. You never know, right? You know, but they be bomb though in the freezer. So. Mm, yeah, got pickles on it. Yeah. I don't have pickles, but I like pickles. They taste just like. It tastes just like the freezer, mm -hmm. but better. Like when you get white castle, you always kind of like mess, like mess it up a mm -hmm. little bit, not all the way. It's either one side it would be crunchy because you been burnt it, mm -hmm. or like yeah, hard, burnt, or they wet. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> they be too, um, they be too uh, underdone. You never know. Right. Profit you? It's so far. It's been hot. Oh. Right. Um. So the first question was, um, how long we've been together? How long have you been together, and how did you guys meet? Um. Um. And my name is Namaya. Hey, Namaya. Uh, we we answered this question before, but yeah, but maybe. we've been together for almost seven years, right? Yep. On the twenty fifth. On the twenty fifth will be seven years. Yep. So. And we met in a church, a camp church. Yeah, we were both we both you know got the little job, a little summer job for like teenagers, and we went to this, you know we worked at a church you know teaching kids about the Bible. We had like we was like the teachers. We had a little classrooms and stuff, and me and him happened to be in the same type of classroom. We had arts and crafts. Right. And then after that, it was a game that turned into a relationship. Long story short, his friends and him, his friends and, and him decided like, oh, we're going to get this girl, we're going to get this girl, we're going to get this girl. They were just doing it just to like make the time go by and keep their jobs because we was kind of. Yeah, they was picking us all up one by one. We That's what we felt. Before, when I worked at the church, we told this story, mm -hmm. but before when I worked at the church, I worked with her older sisters and they was getting all the dudes there fired. And I felt like they was doing that probably to bring their own guys there. So this year, I was like, I am not about to get fired mm -hmm. for them. Cause the lady there, she used to take y'all side with everything. Yeah, cause she was like a, she was a lady pastor. So you know yeah. how girls and lady pastors. So, and it's like, ah. The girls can do no wrong. Whatever they want to eat, we were eating that. Whatever they want to do, we were doing that. I, we had no say so, like it was very unfair. You would yeah. think at a church would be equal, right? Right. No. <laughs> so we like, all right, for, for, for us to know that we're going to keep our jobs, we got to start flirt with them. Mm, mm. Mm, 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 girl, yeah. Mm. We got to start flirt with them so they can, you know, be interested in us. And they can have our back if something happens. He became interested in me, and a game turned into a real thing. He liked the girl. He got that. It bomb. Mm. Mm hmm. 
You gotta eat them when they hot. When you eat mozzarella sticks, eat them when they hot instead of before they turn into that. Tough. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's how we met, basically. Right. Next question. What state do you guys live in? And what are your future kids' names? And can y'all adopt me? My name is Kelsey. Hey, Kelsey girl. <laughs> um, we live in Wisconsin. Okay. Um, what are your future kids' names? <laughs> my, my son's name is going to be Jacoby. I don't have a daughter name yet. I don't. Because my name is Unique. we Unique. So I really do want to have my daughter name like Unique. If I have a daughter now, son, we don't go with Jacoby because he's been wanting Jacoby forever. Right. Um, the boy, he can choose their name. Like, I'm not gonna really. What? Um, you know, choose the guy name, whatever, you know. Not like that, you know, still my son, but um, for a girl, I gotta, I gotta do. I would have to pick something unique and actually like come, like sit down and really come up with it. So I haven't did that yet. Right. So. Yeah, girl, I don't know. Mm -mm. But get the papers ready. Yeah, we adopt you. Mm -hmm, girl, <laughs> we got you. Um, the next question was, um, have you guys ever broken up at any point of your relationship? Yes. <laughs> yes. But, but realize. I was trying to, <laughs> her skirt was rising up and I was kind of like, oh no, like put your shirt, put your skirt down. But, um, um, we have, but realize though that we never, we haven't been like, okay, we taking a break. We on and off. Like our breakups didn't, never lasted long to where it was like. Yeah, our, our breakup always lasts like what? A few days. Few days. We be in the same house. Yeah. But I'll be sleeping in the living room. She'll be in the room. Yeah. We just be mad at each other for a few days. But this man over here is stubborn, so we just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> Me, I'm so quick to just to scum back to like being back together. Like, oh, I just want to be cool again, you know? Cause I love our relationship bond. Cause we so funny. Like, you know how you just like laugh and you play around all day. You just so happy, and then all of a sudden you just like, okay, uh, I'm it's not 4 stubborn. I just it's be, 4 p.m. I'm going to bed. Like, I just be mad. You're, you know. That's not stubborn. I mean, yeah. But he is stubborn though, I don't care. <laughs> what what's, that? what's what's next? What's the next one? Burgers. Oh. Remember we got twins. Oh yeah, I forgot. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, we have been broken up before. I'm sure everyone has. Um You see, you be with somebody for seven almost seven years. Come on now. Y'all done had y'all few fights. Oh yeah. If y'all haven't Somebody lying. No, y'all doing something on the side. Mm-hmm. No matter how long y'all been together, months, years, days, y'all don't have y'all argument. Y'all don't have that stage where y'all just arguing or something like that, or it can be just spread it throughout. Right. So, we have. Yeah, that's true. What is the key to a long-lasting relationship? Um. Honest. Honestly. If you be honest, everything... Uh, a fall down in the right way. You know what I mean? Oh, and communication. I think that falls on the same thing of being honest. Like, mm, you can lie. You know, communication. Like y'all, y'all both have a. Uh, that's honest. That's being honest. I'm saying that falls in the same thing of being honest. Like if you if you be honest with one another, that's communicating. Okay. I mean, we could say honesty and communication. I feel like it's different. How? Uh, well, then again, it's not sometimes. I mean, it's just like, if you feel a certain way, oh, that's honest, never mind. That is yeah. not honest, never if, mind. If you feel a certain way, and you know something affecting you, mm -hmm. you just be out and just communicate, just be honest with the next person, not like, is something wrong with you? Mm -hmm. No, I'm fine. Right. You're lying. Mm -hmm. You communicate, you know what I mean? Like, you can go back and forth and communicate, but that don't mean which you're saying is the truth. You know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So you just being honest with one another. Everything will work out. Um. Yeah. Honesty, communication, in that realm. 
Um, because if you be if you be honest with one another, it's gonna be like whatever you ask him or whatever you ask her, it's gonna it's gonna be good. Cause they gonna tell you the truth. Y'all can fix it. Mm -hmm. It's no jumping back and forth. Let's like all that time that y'all could have been, you know, going back and forth. Y'all could have been doing it to solve it. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Wasting time. Y'all wait. I hate when people do that because they waste time. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with me. Clearly, there's something wrong with them. We're just going back and forth. Ain't nothing wrong with me. Clearly, there's something wrong with them. Like, and you just wasting time. Just tell me what I'm, what's wrong so I can fix it. Uh, <laughs> what you what, what you looking at me for? Because sometimes you do that, though. No, I don't. Know. No. I'll be like, some, like, and then, like, a few days, like, probably like a day later or something like that, he'll talk to me about it, but he don't never elaborate when I ask him. The thing about what Tyler is, and me, I just need space. Yeah, I don't like that. So when somebody asks me, there's something wrong. Maybe there's nothing wrong. It'd be true. There's nothing wrong. Just get away from me. <laughs> what? Like, wrong. How is it? There's nothing man wrong. It's just like, I just need space. Like, can like let me just chill. Like, I, I know how to deal with me. Mm -hmm. So if I go in a room and just be by myself for 30 minutes, I'm going to come back fine. But if you keep egging and all, keep hey, what's wrong with it? Like, bro, like I just said, nothing. Like, it was like when the person just want to know. But Tyler's the type of person. It will be nothing wrong, and no. she'll keep, she'll keep saying it. She'll keep saying it. She'll be like, what's wrong? Nothing. It got to be something wrong. Ain't nothing wrong. Like she will literally make something wrong. Then mm -hmm. as soon as you be like, ain't nothing wrong, and she be like, see, you snapping. I knew it was something wrong. You just asked me a hundred times. Of course, don't be getting frustrated. But. Well, I know my man. So you're, you're not <laughs> you know how you know a person like y'all like say if you got friends at school, y'all go to school every day, y'all be laughing, joking around, fun, like ah like girl. But then you come to school one day and she just like What's wrong? Nothing. You know like their 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 mood changes so like you know sometimes That's not me. That I mean he ain't got, like he don't change his mood a lot, but it's like if I ask you what's wrong, you're not laughing when we I'm I'm saying something to you, you're not you know, I'm gonna ask you what's wrong. And you tell me, no, it's nothing wrong. But Tyler's the type that think you're supposed to be perky every day. Like, I mean, when you and me. Like, <laughs> I might be fun laughing Jamal six days out of the week. She expect me to be like that seventh day too. I might just be chilling, watching TV, not doing nothing. She might come in and say something. I'm be like, all right. Why are you acting like that? Why your mood? Like, what's she talking about? I'm just chilling. Like, Nah, you, it's something off. Like, <laughs> bruh, like, I can't just chill and just be quiet. Like, sometimes I think that that hunts me, being, like, that outgoing person. Then once I'm not being outgoing, it's like, oh, something got to be wrong with him. Cause, Which is not. Yeah, he right, but it's just, like, sometimes you just know that person. And you just kind of, like, when something seems off, you just wonder, like, what's up? What's up? Like, right. Um, that's just how it is. We off track. <laughs> um, how was it meeting each other's parents for the first time? And my name is er Ariana. Hey, Ariana. Oh, you been eating another bit? No. Uh -oh. I haven't ate a burger in a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here you go. Crash anything. Cool. So you can come over here and get these burgers. Um, yeah, we did buy a lot of burgers. Man. Yeah, we did. Because <laughs> we know, like, them, them little we burgers be so be, like, small. small. I'm, like, actually four, to be honest. I'm straight. I'm okay right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because you've been sipping on that drink, though. Yeah, that's true. I haven't sipped on it. I always leave my drink for last. You always do. Mm hmm. And, okay, so meeting his parents for the first time. I mean, I met his mom. Yeah, she met my that mom. Well, how many times very... did you saw mom? Well, sure. Pat, oh, my count, count on one hand, maybe. Or counting on two hands. Maybe yeah. a few times. Like, like if he goes over there. But, like, probably two hands. You could say, like, probably, like, over, probably, like, ten times. Maybe like that. Probably, yeah. It was never a relationship. Yeah. Well, but her mom, uh, hoo, hoo. we stayed at your house, so it was like, not but, like but, living. But we gotta living. explain how it was the first time, though. Hey, what you mean? How was it meeting your parents for the first time? Meeting my parents for the first time? Oh. Uh, me, I mean, me, me meeting his parents, his mom, I mean, like, it was kind of like I was on the porch. He came over with her. Hi. Hi. End of story. That was just a normal thing. Like, they yeah. came to our house, she got in the car, left. Like, mm -hmm. end of story. Meet your mama for the first time. <laughs> As your boyfriend? I believe so. Because I've told your mama so many times. I've worked with Tina. Uh, oh, yeah. She used to come to the church. As my boyfriend, then. As your boyfriend? Um, mm, I don't remember. <laughs> to be honest. I'll say properly introduced. Because we worked at a church 
and she used to come up there, pick up y'all sometimes, Ima, or y'all walk back, or we would be in the neighborhood, we'd see her, mm -hmm. shit like that, so, I mean, stuff like that, so. Properly introduced would probably be like, uh, I think, I think when, that day, when we had like that, that thing at church, we all had to be there, it was like right after the, the, the job, and everybody had to come that Sunday. Mm -hmm. Like all the kids had to come that Sunday and do something, I forgot. Oh no. <laughs> and remember, after the fact, everybody was like, in by the, like back, by the back area where that door at, that you walk out, and they had like cake and everything. And I remember your mama came up, and I remember she shook my hand, and she was like, ooh, your hand's soft. You know what they say about soft hands. <laughs> I remember that part, yeah. yeah. Like, he told me that. I'm he like, said, what? Well, your hair is very soft. You know what they say about soft hands. <laughs> I did not know what they meant. What did they say? I have no idea. <laughs> it must have been like old saying or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I forgot. Brother got soft skin. Huh? Mm -hmm. He really does, though. I don't. Well, whatever. I'm going to you know, something. Got something, something. Next question. How old are you, Batala? <laughs> That's 33. I am 24, going on 25. Look at that. Look at that. I'm 21. I'm 21. Would you ever have kids? Yes. Um, which two of your brothers you like the most and why? I don't have brothers. I have one brother. <laughs> Do you like Taraji? <laughs> <laughs> no. You don't like Taraji? I mean, now we all don't separate, yeah. I mean, you love your brother, but yeah, like him, nah. <laughs> he be getting, on, he used to be on my last nerve, bro. Like, mm -mm. <laughs> when it was little, he cut off her hair. He cut off my hair. Like, he used to do some tragic stuff to us, like, cause we eat in a house with five girls, like. Right. So he used to do some tragic stuff. So no, but I do love him though. You know, it's my brother. And what about you? What's your favorite two brothers? Ooh. <laughs> favorite two brothers? Mm -hmm. I don't have a favorite two brothers. Oh. I like all my brothers. I got six brothers. That's why I'm like, ooh, <laughs> there's so many of them. Like, no, I like all my brothers. I, I like all my brothers the same, but all my brothers got different statures about them that you like personally about them. Yeah. Right. Like you, like Todd and Romel, you know you can't get over with them. As far as like. They played. They played a hard role. Like, being like, oh, I'm more still, blah, rah, rah, rah. Mm -hmm. Benny is a different stature because I feel like that's an inflection. Like Benny do everything I do, like <laughs> everything, and he don't care. He literally say it. Like he literally says, like I'm, I'm copying that. Like so, like, yeah. like Benny is like a reflection. Like when I get my hair a certain way, he wants it a certain way. If I start doing certain stuff, if I'm Playing basketball, rapping, he want to do the same thing. It's mm -hmm. Like Benny is like a literary reflection. It's and so Jerry, cute. I mess with Jerry come in. Jerry funny. <laughs> Jerry is really funny, <laughs> but funny. I feel like everything that Jerry go through is literally what I go through. Yeah, or what you went through. Yeah, what I went through like as a kid. So and, very, and Jerry different. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think I'm going closer. Sometimes I'll be feeling like Jerry feel like he an outcast or something. Yeah. Because everybody dark skinned and he light skinned. And yeah. It's just like, uh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I want to be dark skinned. Like, bro. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm mm. Yeah. I know exactly what you mean. Slap on my. My feet were sweepy sweaty. Because it's hot in here. Mm -hmm. Um, so I guess that's his explanation. Really? That's what we done? <laughs> oh, they burnt the mas mascara. <laughs> mozzarella sticks. I wanted some more mozzarella sticks. Oh, you better eat that one. Eat the end uh -huh. off of it. I'm gonna like this been on the Okay, the next question is, Hello, Batala. I love your ASMR. I am a student nurse currently, and in one of your videos, you said you wanted to be a nurse. Why did you want to be a nurse, and why would you want to start the team and study? And why did you want to, wait, and would you want to start the team studying to become a nurse one day? Love, love from Malaysia. My name is Ning. Ooh, Ning. That's cute. I like um names like that. Ting Ting Ning like Lang Ling. Right. Um First of all, long story short, I got into college and I wanted to be a nurse. Why? Because I always see myself in scrubs wanting to be a nurse. Helping people in the hospital setting, just doing stuff 
I just always wanted to be an aesthetic. Like, when I was a little girl, I wanted to be a pediatrician, you know, babies and stuff like that. Then it was like, oh, nurse. Then it was like, oh, doctor. But then I'm like, for college, I want to start off with being a nurse, try to get my RN and stuff like that. And um, got into college, and things just did not work out. Like, I tried college, I tried nursing for two, was it two years or one year? I forgot. It was like one or two years I tried nursing, and it just did not pan out at all. Like, it was so bad, like, and I was just like, you know, I'm not gonna lose my scholarships, I'm not gonna lose stuff. Yeah. You know, and I was like, cause I had so much really stuff on the line. The you gotta be really focused, like, if, like, I feel like if I didn't have a job, if I wasn't doing nothing, and I just had support where I just could just be on my butt all day and just go to school, I probably would've did nursing. Right. You know, cause it, you, it's, it's so much demanded, it's so much demanded for your time. Like, some people are so different, where it's like, oh, they focus, like, it's hard to explain. I, I need to be like really entwined into nursing to do nursing. Right. Like, and I was entwined into nursing, but we had we was doing third shift. We was getting up at night, waking up in the morning. I'm going, I'm getting off of work at 7 a.m. in the morning, and I'm going straight to school. Like my right. mind not, my mind not. I'm st I'm sleepy. I'm ready to go to bed. Like, been up since 9 p.m. at night all the way until school school ends. Like it was so much. So you know, I wanted to be a nurse because I wanted to be around that. But like what I want to start studying again like if I when I finish getting my psychology stuff like maybe but it's not really in the writing right now I'm really more into psychology and psychology is kind of like ah like I really I don't know why I didn't think of psychology first because it's such a beautiful thing to do right so yeah long story short if you could eat one food for the rest of your life what would it be oh lord <laughs> What? <laughs> the question. Oh, what was the burn? Um, if you could eat one, only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Macaroni and chicken. Oh, what, mixed together or something? Because it's just one food. They say one meal. A food? Oh, um. One food. One item? I say mashed potatoes. Mmm. You eat mashed potatoes for the rest of your life? Mm -hmm. I know, like some of the mashed potatoes are fried, and some like, like mashed potatoes based. One thing. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to say. Chicken? I don't know. Yeah. Meal, I'm just gonna say meal. Uh -huh. I'm going chicken. Mm -hmm. If you have to, oh my god. <laughs> if you have to lose one of your five senses. What would you give up and why? Mmm. Mmm. Smell. Ah. I might give it up my eyes. We're not doing that. Smell. Taste. Um, I'll probably do touch then. If I got my eyesight. Oh, no, you got me some touch? You basically. No. I don't want to be deaf. I don't want to be blind. I want to taste my food. It's between tasting and touching. And this gonna be touching. <laughs> I might go with taste. All right, brother. No, because I'm eating and I'm getting it. Yeah, you get it full. But if I can't taste, I go with it. touching. How do you ever feel? How do your arm went numb? And you just. You can't feel nothing. Yeah, I hate that. You literally, if you lose your touch, you literally, I would say, you lose like grip and all that stuff. Cause like, oh yeah, you can't really, um, like, you're not. Yeah, like you you're lose not, your you touch, can't, you can't feel mm, nothing. You basically, your hands damn near dead. So I might do, I might say touch. I mean taste. <laughs> I might go touch. As long as I'm eating. And all mm -hmm. this stuff, What's one thing you are passionate? You are super passionate about. I would say at the moment will be school and ASMR. One thing I'm passionate about is I'm gonna say just becoming successful. That's that's true. That's true. Yeah, it's been super successful. If you had to describe yourself in three words, what would they be? Unique, funny. I would say unique, funny, and something else. I can't think of the last one. <laughs> oh, uh, funny, funny. Nice looking. <laughs> um, Are you in the right though? And creative. Okay. 
I only got funny and um unique. And yeah, ugly. That hit you right on the head. Mm -hmm. She's funny, unique, and ugly. Oh, Batala? That's what you're talking about. <laughs> you just said that. What's a random hobby? Pickles are so disgusting. What's a random hobby you've always wanted to try but never have? Basketball? A weird hobby? No, 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 weird hobby. It's a random hobby. Oh, a random hobby? Um, yeah, I never tried or is, that. Or is basketball a random hobby? I mean, random to you, but... It's not, it's not really random to me. Um, I would say golf. <laughs> yeah, nice. I'll probably do, try to do golf. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably say basketball. I never really tried basketball. I don't know, I used to play basketball, but I, I like, not playing, but, like, you in the gym, you kind of got a ball, you kind of just bouncing and shooting it. But, right. like, I would want to learn how to dribble and all that stuff. Like, it's not a random hobby, though, but right. it's a it's a hobby. Do y'all plan on getting married? And, and right there, we're going to finish it and come back tomorrow. Um. No. he. We don't plan on getting married, but Jamal has to know that I'm the right person, even though it's been seven years. But we grew up together, so it was like, it's a it's a young thing, you know. We kind of like in our mid twenties now, so he has to know that I'm the right person. So we don't plan on getting married at all. It's just gonna happen when it happened from him. Me, if he say, "But let's go get married right now," I'm jumping at the opportunity. But Jamal has to know that you, this person is. He wants to get married one time. Yes. In the story. Is that so hard? So. Yeah, it's not hard at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not one of the females like he need to put a rank on my finger. Like, hey, I people got morals and stand, morals and standards, and I'm not for to be just crossing the line. Like, he better give me a ring. Like, he just want to find the right person. Next, what is your dream destination for a trip except Disney? <laughs> my name is Thea. Hey, Thea. Um, dream destination for a trip? I don't want to go overseas. Like it's beautiful, but I just don't want. I'm just dangerous stuff here. Like you, you, you know. I don't have a dream there. destination. I don't either. Cause I can do it. I just, whoa, cocky me. No, 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 not like that. Like the ones that I want to do, I can. Like where, where is the place that you can go? It's just like a dream destination. I want to go. It's a dream for me to go there. That's the thing. I don't have a dream destination. I had a, the only dream destination I had, and that was once when I was a kid. And that's, you know, Disney, going out of town and all that extra yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's so different when you... But I, when I you're an adult and you mm. do everything that you dreamed of doing when you was a kid, you really don't have a dream when you get older. Like, uh -uh. you want to do things, exciting things, but a dream to do it, then I don't care. I think I did everything that I dreamed that I wanted to do. I'm not going out the top of, going out the country type of guy. Like, I'm mm -mm. not... Not me either. I, I don't I don't see what people I don't wanna to go to Russia. I wanna be at I wanna to go to Paris. I wanna mm -hmm. mm, No, I'm good. I'm, I'm straight in the US. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I, I'm not that type of person. I ain't even too trying to I ain't even too um tripping about that. Yeah, so But I to the place that I haven't gone yet that I would like to go. Um Vegas. Oh that'd be fun. Um But we're gonna go there soon too. <laughs> that's pretty much it. It just it just things that I want to go to, like probably like um, some festivals and stuff like, but not nothing like oh I dreamed dreamed of going there. Like, yeah, everything I dreamed of, uh, I did already. Um, next question: <clears throat> What's the best quality of your significant other? For him, I would probably say <sighs> his mind. Jamal is like, I don't. Okay, wait. Jamal is so smart, but like, it's like, he's got so much common sense. Like, <laughs> it sounds so weird, whatever. <laughs> he got so much common sense where it's like, like some stuff that I do, like he always like, kind of like, if I, like sometimes like, most of the stuff in my life that I did, I probably would have been messed up over Like, the decisions I probably would have made if it wasn't for him. Like I would have been messed up, like, you know, like, even if it's like collaborative. Man, but that was made to She lacks common sense, and I have a lot of it. I don't lack it. You lack. We'll be on the some common sense. I we'll ain't, be, I ain't in the, we'll be in the living room. She'll be like, "Why is this thing not working?" i be like, "Did you press that button?" Oh no! Let me press. Oh it's no! It ain't like that. Like damn. <laughs> it ain't like that. Like it, it's some stuff that just be like, "Damn!" Like what if he wasn't here? Oh, that, Ooh, that feel good. good. <laughs> Look at you got all your face all in. Um. It's hot. 
Who is hot in here though? Um, but yeah, his mind. So what about me? Um, I would say her top quality. <laughs> I can think about it. I would say Karen. But that is very, 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 very Karen. That's a, that's the biggest thing. All right. If people have a t like, if you get Batala as a friend, that's probably the biggest thing that you would do in your lifetime. Like, she wasn't a person that would like always look out for you, regardless if you didn't probably did something to her. You know what I mean? Like, no she, matter what, no matter what. Like she wasn't no friends where it's just like, oh, if we're friends, we're gonna stay friends unless, to the you, end. Do, unless <laughs> you do something very, very stupid. Yeah. But, she wanted all like y'all can fall out and not talk to each other, but you can call it be like, "What's all I need half of my rent?" And she probably had help you out, team. like you know what I mean. She one of them type of people, like she 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 had help you out, like. So, and and you can say that's a down, you know what I mean? That's kind of messed yeah. up to, to a certain extent, but yeah, it's a good it's a good and it's a flaw. Yeah, or just like it is too helpful to people. They take advantage of you, but. It'll be a, a a token for a person who really, you know, really, you know, like that that like the type. friend mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So yeah, that's yeah. why I like Batala. She's very, you know. Oh, that's so sweet. So. Um, this is the last question. Okay, last question. We get one. Oh, that's that's it. That's um, it? well, since what made you start ASMR videos? That's the last one. What made you start ASMR videos? Um, I watched it. I watched the video. Jamal noticed back in the day back like a few years ago I was watching like I was into these massage videos and he I would be sitting there like he would just be coming into the house and stuff like that I'm just laying on the bed like oh I was watching these massage videos and I try to do some massaging on him or something like that like Marie was back in like yeah. I think Savannah house or something like that but I was into massage videos I ran across this thing called ASMR and I'm like what the heck is this like so I started looking at it and it was so smooth it was so sensual it was so relaxing and I love relaxing stuff so I was like, okay. Then I got more into it. I started seeing tap, in, tap in, triggers, stuff like that. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Like, and then I started, you know, moving around the house. You would tap on something. I'd be tongue clicking. I'm like, you know what? I want to try to do ASMR. Right. It's relaxing. It's soothing. I can be a relaxing person, you know. I, I can be loud, but I'm not too loud. But yeah, that's what made me start ASMR. Cause and I started ASMR because of her, so. <laughs> Long story short. Long story short. So. <laughs> yeah. And so, thank y'all for watching this video. Y'all watched it to the to the end. Thank you. Thank everybody. You know who's you know. Thank you who watched the video. Uh, shout out to Notification Squad. Mm -hmm. Everybody that be on our videos. I know it's a, not a lot of y'all that's you know been watching our previous videos, but we're going to continue to give y'all good content so y'all can come back and watch it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, anything else? We love you guys and make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be out of here. And we back. I'm Jay. I'm B. It's J B T V. Peace. We outie to the middle east.